everybody welcome back it's the fandom frequency entertainment network that's right we getting bougie out here y'all <laughs> but nah it's it's fandom frequency entertainment man everything in the world of entertainment fandom pop culture we gonna talk about it man Heck and yeah. let me say we've been having a blast talking about this for the last um almost a year coming up right here in march my friend coming close almost for our sure. first full year Fuck of doing yeah. the channel of doing the podcast so we want to let you people know thank you from the bottom of our hearts for supporting the show so far man i think we're at about 40 subscribers here on the youtube channel man oh, and if you're yeah. listening to us on the podcast network we've been getting tons of downloads Lots of plays and listens as well. Hell I think we're yeah, almost yeah. into the 500s. Dude, so we're, we're definitely steadily pretty. climbing as it goes along. Mm -hmm. Follow us on the social medias, man. You know, I got that at the bottom of the screen there. Make sure you hit us up over there. Let us know what you're looking forward to within the world and the multiverse of fandom. Mm -hmm. And as you see from the thumbnail... Your boy Kenny and Skippy right here, my man, oh. are going to be breaking down... The Multiverse of Madness, Doctor Strange, the sequel directed by Sam Raimi, the acclaimed legend from The Evil Dead and the world of Spider-Man. He brought us one of the illest comic book movies of the 2000s, and now he's back in the 2020s Hell to yeah. bring us a horrifically trippy good time, my friend. Yeah, and as you guys seen out there, this trailer is a complete clusterfuck, man. So I don't even know where to start. So I'm going to go ahead and let you take it away, my friend. Man, this trailer itself, when we I seen it on the Super Bowl commercials, when it was all going through... I, Seeing the trailer got me so amped up to see yeah, what's to come in the upcoming movie because from what we even heard even before then, like little rumors here, uh, here and there and so stuff like that. Rumors, that so many rumors, man. Tom Cruise. Yes. So many um, different cameos, bro. Um, what's uh, my man? Um, oh, my gosh, dude. For which um, one? John Krasinski. Reed yes. Richards. Yeah. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then who? What other? I heard another rumor. There was supposed to be Loki supposedly Loki could show up in this thing. Yeah, for sure. It was uh, Loki and Sylvie as a possibility. Yeah. And then also to mention they, there's also like other different uh variants of our the characters that we know. Maybe there's gonna be a Captain America that's gonna be possibly as a Hydra agent Yo, in one multiverse or I didn't love that storyline in the comics per se. Mm -hmm. But man, that would be so damn cool to see. Yeah. Especially because Chris Evans can play a villain. Excellently. Oh, we've seen it before, man. We've yeah, seen it before. Like, he is very good at playing a villain. So I hope they lean into stuff like that, man. Yeah. And, bef and before we're getting into a lot of the stuff within the trailer itself, just some um, quick speculation off the top here. Mm -hmm. I really hope they lean into some of those more unique comic book or older Marvel film references and like um, variants. I think that'd be a lot of fun to see more stuff like that yeah. than the Reed Richards tony stark stuff that i'm gonna be hyped to see it yeah but yeah. i would prefer to see chris evans captain hydra or um or uh almost said silver surfer or um <laughs> his or human, him torch. human torch yeah for sure for sure it's just he could slip right into that so easy and it's like we have chris evans back without it being captain america it doesn't take away from his um his exit from the franchise in a sense no, but it really. also adds a fun element for us longtime marvel fans and it ain't like people sure. that are more casual don't know of those movies coming out. And if they don't, it's very easy to Google and see. They yeah. don't have to try to dig through 70 years of comic book lore. Mm -hmm. 60 it's, years in some case with a lot of these characters. So It's just like a simple pickup from them. Exactly. And it'll be cool to see, like, I mean, even though I really don't like it, like Ben Affleck's freaking Daredevil will be awesome. That would be fun. <laughs> that would be such a weird throwback for you. Affleck him. doesn't seem keen to come back to the genre. No, no. For anything that isn't very special to him, I think. Yeah. So I don't think that would be enough. I think something in the Batman world, if he could do something separate in the Snyderverse. He could definitely make an appearance. But maybe. Cam cameos like that type of nah. appearances. I would love it though. Yeah, like we'll be seeing. I mean, imagine um, 
what was his name? I forget. Nicholas, uh, Nicholas, Nicholas Cage, Cage is Ghost, Ghost Rider. Rider. That would be that. fun. That would be interesting to see. I, I enjoy the first film. Yeah. I actually really like the first one for the most part. Mm-hmm. Mephisto is kind of my problem with it. Oh, but I love okay. Johnny Cage's um, Johnny Blaze. Or Johnny Cage, Nicholas Cage <laughs> as, as, as um, Johnny Blaze. Yeah, I got Mortal Kombat yeah. on the mind, baby. Oh yeah, don't do the splits and hit my dick. No, but, no. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, man, but getting more into the trailer, as we see with the opening shot with the sick ass music cue, oh, you got yeah. Doctor Strange opening his eyes, and you got this creepy voiceover with all these different images, like every night. A nightmare. I have the same exact dream. And then you see what looks like Defender Strange going, it looks like he's getting sucked into some kind of portal. Yeah. Created by Sylvie, perhaps. It could created be. Created by America Chavez, who we see throughout this trailer quite a few times. Yeah, and for sure, for sure. Man, my main question, like I was mentioning to you off camera right now, hmm. or off the air, if you will, um, what's it called? Do you think that's our Doctor Strange talking? Or could it be a variant? Or am I reaching too far? It could be. It could be a variant. It could easily be a variant right. of some of the, any sorts because we don't really know too much of what our the strange that we know of is going to be going through throughout the journey. Yeah, man. But we only know the Defender Strange, and then we yep. also know of the What If Strange. What we if don't. Evil we, strange. Yeah, that What If. Them. Yeah, the Supreme Sorcerer Strange. Yeah, I feel like he's that's for sure going to be him. Like people are so like are kind of like hesitant on that. Me, of him being the, like making the it's appearance and stuff. Be, it has to be because he's the only one. I mean, the only thing that he had to kind of, I guess, explain is how he got out of that little loop or the, out, out of that little, uh, what was he? He was trapped inside oh, like a little, good fucking little box point. or something like that, right? I remember bringing that up in our what if reviews too. I was like, how are they going to address that? Yeah. It's like, how is it? Because he, Man. At the end of that show, he was pretty much placed there to keep everything in line with Ultra, that with the Ultron God Ultron, yeah. yeah. And then he was there pretty much just to keep him in line. So how he's gonna step aside doing all that and then joining everybody else? God, that would make me so happy if they showed that. That would be like off. he has it still in there somewhere. Like, oh yeah, uh, don't worry about that. Yeah, like you know, a like good a quick tease. little like a, a tease. Like, wait, what the f- Michael B. J. Huh? Yeah, yeah, and then they have something like, and it'll be good for the uh, for the people who has been following the TV shows. Be like, oh, okay, so this is what's happening. It does with mean something. Yeah. I do got to keep up with everything. Yeah, you know? it kind of gives like you know what Kevin Foggy has been saying that TV shows will be aligned with the movies. You don't have to watch the TV shows, but there'll be some hints that you won't never that you won't know until you actually watch the series that you haven't seen before and things like that. Yep. So that's why it's gonna be very cool to see something like that even be a possibility yeah man so many possibilities with that man and with the introduction of america chavez as we see in the trailer we only see her punch a hole in the multiverse one time Mm -hmm. so do you think um do you know anything about her comic book origins or anything not too much honestly breezy homework on the comics explained shout outs to that guy (laughs) on youtube man and i was watching a video he made about her origin because she's relatively new i think she's only been around for like a decade Maybe yeah, less in yeah. comics, you know, that's baby years. <laughs> but um uh but apparently she comes from a, a pocket universe outside of the main multiverse. Really? Yeah. So do you think they're gonna get into any of that? I think for maybe if we do, it'll be something kind of like brief, some explanation behind her background story, and then we might see her a little bit later in the future to explain oh, a little bit more. I think I just got an idea of how they could spin it. Hmm. In a slightly less confusing way, especially for the norms out there, the normies, <laughs> not you people watching right now mostly. But uh, what's it called? Um, uh, what's it called? Um, what if they make it? What if? But what <laughs> if they made America Chavez from the quantum realm? That could also be another you know possibility too. For where it's yeah. like something we know about. Where if you just watch Ant Man, you'll learn about it. Mm-hmm. Ant Man Two or whatever the fuck. If you watched Avengers Endgame, like the whole fucking world did. You yeah. know about it. Yeah, it, it's and there already was there. A, a society in there. Remember, there was. Yeah, even though it wasn't as clear picture, you seen that little yep. buildings and everything. So uh, something I mean? like that from afar, and that's something like a lot of people were Easter egging too. They're like, yep. oh, that has to. Be. That's when the they were theorizing that the Fantastic Four was going to be over there, or yeah. something like that. And I was like, oh, well, th- that could be a way for them to be introduced in as a possibility. But there is indeed like a city over there that they can definitely use the material for. And for since it doesn't seem character. to be the TVA, like. 
like a lot of people were thinking back yeah, that's in the, you know early Loki days. Mm-hmm. If it ain't that, maybe it's America Chavez's home, man. Who knows? Could but be. drop your comments, drop your predictions for America Chavez. Do you know about the character? And if you don't, and if or actually, sorry, I said that backwards. If you do know about the character, we'd love to hear some comic recommendations, like specific issues or storylines we should check out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess. And also, let it. us know your predictions for how you think they're going to work her into the universe. But we know they're doing that Young Avengers team up build up, so oh, it's all yeah, a part of that. Definitely. So, yeah, man. Yeah. Um, going on through the trailer here. Wong looks like he's got some serious shit going on, and he looks like he is, he, he might not make it. He's in trouble, dude. Like, yeah. that guy is all bloodied up, beaten up. And I mean, I'm telling you, I like, think even, I feel like he's might get killed off in this in this movie. I feel like I he might die. I would be very die. let down by that. Not like upset, but oh, man. I feel like something like that might happen because there's a whole lot of chaos going through it. And we. Yep. And my theory is that I feel like the Scarlet Witch just might kill him. I feel Shit. like that might be it. And that might make her go towards that That villain. darker House of M, Avengers Disassembled type path, man. Yeah. yeah. That we've all been theorizing since she came in the MCU in 2015. So yeah. you yeah. never know man and that leads us right into the next topic right there Mm. scarlet witch in this trailer we got some um we got a little bit of footage from the previous teaser in here mixed in with some new footage of her meditating and doing all this cool stuff possibly talking to a variant of herself or some obe out of body experience type shit but it's gonna be very interesting to see her character arc and what her place is within the story, and I think that's a main thing with a lot of these reshoots that they've been reporting on for the last several months. Yeah, I've heard a lot about those reshoots. I think going on. I think she's a big reason of why they're trying to figure out what's the best way to approach this character because I think they're trying to walk a fine line between villainizing her too much. I think you know. I, I think there's a little bit of trepidation in the fandom in the community about it. So I'll, I think they're trying to toe that line the best way they can. Yeah, that's for sure going to be it because the Scarlet Witch character is, is very complex itself yeah. as if she's going to be a, a hero or is she going to be a villain. There's no really fine line in a lot of the storytelling, like the House of N, yeah. they might be heading towards that route from what they're writing in so far. Mm-hmm. So she might be leaning towards that villain route, which explains, it could explain a lot with a lot of the reshoots that they got going on. Yeah, man. But, so that's why I really do hope they kind of make her go towards that villain route because it's something that... It'll be cool to see be play out down the line of her relationships with the other characters exactly, that are like, still around. And I want like that, that push and pull between the dark and the light. I want that Kylo Ren type storyline, mm-hmm. but just fleshed out the way they've done so far, but continue that. Like mm. I think that'd be very interesting to not have Wanda just be good or bad. Yeah. I think it'd be a lot better just to kind of have her like a almost like wrestling terms, like a tweener. Yeah. Just between that heel and that face, between the good guy and the bad guy. A la Scorpion, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, even Deadpool, you could say, is an anti-hero. Wolverine. Yeah. Like Wolverine, man, like he'll cut your neck in a minute. But at the same time, he has a certain code in a way. And there's like a certain line he doesn't cross. But at the same time, he'll go a lot further than Beast. He'll go a lot further than Cap, you know? Yeah, He'll go a lot sure. further than these other characters. So I do hope they continue to give Elizabeth Olsen great... Um, great content and great stuff to work with and yeah. continue to keep that character dark and interesting because I think that's when Scarlet Witch is at her best. I feel like that is going to be too. And it's going to be interesting how she interacts is like for instance, for hot guy. Cause yeah. hot guy's always been that role model for her girl, even right. throughout the last right. couple of movies. So they kept that up through civil war. Yeah. That's yeah. A good point. So that's why it's going to be interesting to see those type of relationships be played out with amongst other Avengers and see how they react. If she does go to that darker path. Exactly. And how strange going to handle that because strange is not the best people person oh no he's so worse <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. so it reminds me of tony stark like early tony stark days like phase one phase two mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. he shouldn't have been like the straight up leader dealing with shit like I, I think he would have been making a lot of bad decisions like he did with ultron yeah without consulting everybody because if everyone said yeah make that shit then it's everybody's fault yeah but it's only off of this point from and what we've strange seen. taking the multiverse into his own hands man which is not good both it's- the what if strange are strange that's why I thought that What If episode was maybe the best written mm-hmm. out of What If, because it just tied in with Doctor Strange as a character so well. Yeah. And for fleshed sure. out his character in 20 some minutes that even his two hour film didn't really accomplish as well. Mm. Well, there's some layers there, but this really finally defined it and even made Christine more interesting with, um, with, uh, oh man, I forgot her name now too. 
for uh, Rachel Rachel McAdams. Adams. Rachel McAdams. Character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I really hope they bring her character to life in a great way in this movie. We do get her teased a couple times in the trailer, I, not too much. Just like a wedding scene, right? Yeah, I'm pretty. Which sure I think to plays into our reality because mm-hmm. I think we, I saw a clip in the last trailer of our strange as a guest at the wedding. Yeah, so that could probably cause our strange to go over the bend. That's maybe. probably what kind of is that all that absolute point kind of mm-hmm. thing. Yeah, maybe that might come back around. And then he starts tampering with something, and then Wong's like, "Yo, bro, you're fucking up, bro." Yeah, that which could be that's gonna easily play it off too. And then that's when Wanda quotes him saying, "Like when you mess around with the time, you're called you're the a hero. hero. But when I do something like this, trying to have like kind of like my kids and having vision back, when I'm dealing with grief and actually going through something for real. Yeah, and yeah. I'm villainized for it. Where even if I made a couple bad decisions here and there." I'm getting completely villainized while you're getting praised. And that's one of the things I like with this trailer. A lot of these lines have a lot of nuance to it. Mm -hmm. Because you can even draw parallels to the way that people react to celebrities and people in power between genders. Yeah, for sure. You really can draw those parallels in a way if you're aware of it and want to do it. But it isn't necessarily heavy-handed in this film. Mm -hmm. I I like this. I don't know, man. I feel like I feel a little bit of a Sam Raimi touch here. I that's what he does you know? best. Yeah, for sure. That's something that we clearly see within the trailer is that the whole duality of one of character like Strange and a character like Wanda having their, you know, tampering with the multiverse, which is already a huge thing because with them playing around with the multiverse itself, there's even a bigger picture with the with um with Sylvia, what she ended up doing, which yeah, even man, brought like, she even way in the broad aspect of creating so many multiverses and stuff like that, which is going to be even more insane coming man. up to Amman uh, Amman the Wasp's new film and stuff like Quantum that. Mania, man, Loki season two, and that's a uh, just a quick uh, derailment as we like to do here in Phantom Frequency. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure Ant Man three, Quantum Mania. And Loki season two, we're going to drop both in 2023 because mm-hmm. we already know Ant Man is. Mm-hmm. And I think those are going to follow each other or be very close to each other in release and tie in directly. Oh, they will because I, f- I think there's you know? rumors are that, is that there might be a possibility that King might kill somebody within the Ant Man and the Wasp's uh, Quantum Mania mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. film. Show that menace. Mm-hmm. Show the. The new hierarchy, hey bitch, I'm here to stay. Yeah, and like that, and that's when they can have something like that, tra- uh, something that tragic happen, and then bring that over to Loki season two. And then flesh it all out and bring it forward. Yeah, because like I said, man, I love Sylvie within the Loki series, but I'm hoping we see her in a multiverse of madness type film. Yeah, I really feel like she's gonna play a really big role as long as Sofia Diamartino stays. Uh, you know, she's willing to do it. Mm-hmm. I think there's a really big role for Sylvie coming, and I hope so. One of my favorite new additions to the MCU. Faux show. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, man. I mean, any. Uh, I'm trying to think of any other big things, obviously, besides the big one I'm saving for last. Oh, okay, okay. Illuminati, as you know. Yeah. But uh, what was another thing? I, I'm trying to see. Is there anything else you picked up on? Any the, Easter eggs? Or... There, there was for sure. Down. Oh, yeah. There was a couple things. I'm trying to remember that little... That flaming-looking person that's, like, fighting against Wanda. Yeah, I was going to mention that. Monica Rambeau? It could be... That's... A lot of people are theorizing it's Monica Rambeau, or it could be Iron Man. The people thought it was going to be Supreme Iron Man. Yeah, Superior Iron Man to be coming Some of those, like, pictures that people are screenshotting, it did look a little bit like that. I ain't Mm going to lie. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. It's it's something that we can't... We... No matter what we do, it's like we can't really determine what it is until yeah. we actually, actually see, see it. it in context yeah that's the fun with this trailer i think this is such a brilliant trailer mm-hmm. what huh what is that what does that mean what what who is that i know where that's from wait you know what i mean like yeah that's yeah, the one thing sure. i was trying to push him back on our boy miguel as you guys uh think i've already seen on the phantom frequency show we just did the last episode six recently yeah he didn't watch this trailer because he's afraid of all the spoilers. And I understand oh, Marvel yeah, and plenty of other studios have a history within the last couple decades of spoiling a lot of shit in trailers. Mm-hmm. Batman v Superman, Force Awakens, the list goes on. Yeah. But I think this and the No Way Home trailer to me are barely giving you appetizers, bro. Your steak ain't got here yet. I- mm. I'm telling you, man. I-, I don't see this trailer giving away everything because it's not in context. It's a lot of it is pretty much just little bits here and there, little snippets. And there's and what Marvel has done before is like they've taken things out of certain shots and they've added things in. in 
Exactly. And then at the when it comes to the final cut, we won't see what we've witnessed within the trailer. And it being something completely different. We've seen something like that in Infinity War with the Hulk when he was running yep. amongst the Avengers. He wasn't even anywhere close to that. Exactly. He got his ass yo. beat and he went to the bench and that's all he did. Yeah, Justice League, you know, as I like to call it, the Justice League, the mm. original shitty version. Mm-hmm. How they had scenes in those trailers we didn't see. That's until the Zack thing. Snyder version. That was another reason why I was recommending it. Mm-hmm. I was like, you can kind of see those missing pieces. And that happens in a lot of movies just because some things hit the cutting room floor. It even happened with the latest screen. There was a couple scenes in there that got cut shorter or got cut out. Right. It always happens. Editing is a, is a process. But it is very interesting to see the way that these blockbuster films, especially within the MCU, really play with your expectations and what's really going to be there and what's not. Yeah. Because Baron Mordo, that, I don't think that's our Baron Mordo. I feel like he's going to be a multiverse type of... Uh, Illuminati, Illuminati, bro. It could be... Yeah, definitely be Which that, gonna too. going to lead us right into all that Illuminati discussion. Man. Yeah. Illuminati's up in this, motherfucker. Whether they're going to name drop it or not. But who's the lineup, man? Apparently our boy, Sir Patrick Charles Xavier Stewart is up in this bitch. Yeah, he's... Talking about we got to tell him the truth. And people... And then, he, of course, like, I heard that he's trying to deny it. We know it's pretty much no going to be him. No fucking Because he's been... He's been at Marvel Studios even off, like, just for meetings for Common Faggy for, like, the longest time. Yep. And they're trying to figure... I'm pretty sure they're at this time frame. They're trying to figure out how we're going to add some this character in. How could we get X-Men? How could we make this work? Yeah. And then this was... This is a perfect opportunity and then it all makes sense because it's a multiverse thing so that's why having something like a film like this introducing him as a member of the illuminati fits perfectly it it easily fits him perfectly and from what everyone i'm hearing from other people there is super stoked just hearing his voice and having a camera over his shoulder this hype him's... level's insane. Yeah. That was the illest thing in the trailer, bar none, just that. Yeah, yeah. And then that's and why... we still don't know what the... Con- like, we still don't really know that scene, even like a tenth percent of it. We only know... We only now, got a glimpse. Strange. You must tell him the truth. And he gets walked in with handcuffs. Yeah. Who made the robots? Who's up there? Why is he getting brought there? Is he being arrested? Is it TVA type shit that they're doing? It ha- it could, what is it? It could be something along those lines there. And I feel like that's when we'll get a lot of different uh, cameos. For instance, yeah, man. Tom Cruise being in there as Iron Man. Those Ultron bods coming in. I'd it could love to easily, see it. It could easily be our, uh, the Tom Cruise's variant of that, the, his yeah. Iron Man's universe. Or any dope actor, really, yeah, that yeah, fits the role. I'm down for whoever. Yeah, But yeah. Tom Cruise would just be a fun one yeah. for us nerds that know all the behind the scenes. Yeah, for and sure. And I think for he sure. can kind of slide into like a Tony Stark-esque character. As a sense, yeah. we seen him in our boy RBJ, but, but I think he could play a version of it. As a different variant. I mean, we seen him kind of play like in a slight similarity with Tropic Thunder when he was playing yeah. that one guy. I forgot see, his name. See, you tone that down. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think it could work as a little bit of a douchier um, Tony Stark. Kind of like one that became a hero but never really lost the doucheness at the same time. Yeah, and we can see... Yeah, definitely. We can see that being played out as well. And then we can also see uh, Reed Richards as the original Fantastic Four coming in. Maybe he can make an appearance as well. Krasinski, Krasinski anybody. Too. Let's hope it's Krasinski because he just fits so damn perfect with he it. He does. He, like, honestly... He's I'm, at the right age, too. Definitely, definitely, yeah. and like that's when we can have throwbacks to a new uh, Mister Fantastic or an older Mister Fantastic from what we've seen growing up in the two thousands, exactly, and everything so forth. So we open, could have a Hank Pym, Reed Richards, for all we know. There he could, could be, be hella old, which is why we don't see him. Yeah, he could be young, you know, Zac Efron age or some shit. Because people have, I've heard people fan cast that way too. Uh, a lot of that, yeah. Especially I'm more like late thirties, late thirties, early forties. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm kind of. I just want that classic Reed Richards. That's just me. I'm it, not a huge Fantastic Four guy, but I just want to see it meshed with the Avengers and the X Men and everything else so well, like the um, like they have been done before. Mm-hmm, I, mm-hmm. I just think the Fantastic Four is such a cool element with the Marvel Universe. While not my favorite, I do think they're essential to it. So For I sure. hope they pull in X Men or Fantastic Four one way or another in this thing. I'm not gonna throw my computer and throw tomatoes at the damn screen, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm hoping they can pull some of this stuff because I think it makes the most sense here. Mm-hmm. Even Ant Man, I think, is like you're pulling a stretch because it's like we don't know how much multiverse is going on. Yeah, it could just be time travel. Yeah, it strictly you know could be I'm that, Quantum, like how they did it. You know, Quantum. It doesn't stuff necessarily itself. mean multiverse. It's just Kang comes from it. Yeah. So it, it, I don't know, and you can't do two multiverse movies that heavy back to back. 
or no. three times because after fucking No Way Home, within two years of each other, I feel like you might wear out your general audience that way. Mm-hmm. They Not might, me, but yeah, but a lot of for the normal audiences too. Because yeah, at this keep point, in mind. you gotta like they're gonna be conf- they're already conf- gonna be confused already when it comes bit, to yeah. No Way Home. And when Multiverse gets dropped, there's gonna be even more coming through, and they're gonna be introduced so many characters. Like for the Illuminati, uh, Illuminati, so many characters are gonna be introduced yep. again. And on top of that, we don't know who else is gonna be making an appearance as well. Um, for instance, like, are we gonna get? Because I know Black Panther is also part of the Illuminati member. At so, times, yeah. Yeah. So, are we gonna get a variant of oh, Black Panther man. being part of it? Are we gonna get Namor and also part of it too? Because he's also part of the Illuminati as well. True. So there's a lot of different. And there's a lot of Black Panther two rumors right now. Yeah. Yeah. And then, Namor. So. That's why it's it's going to be interesting to see who they're going to introduce to those uh, to that team pretty much and how they're going to play their role into it. I'm hearing rumors that even Scarlet uh, Scarlet Witch might kill the Illuminati and stuff like Whoa, that to man. make her go towards that darker route Yeesh. as like that, as like as a theory itself. Whoa. I won't I won't officially put a stamp on it. Yeah, but, but I'm just like, dude, man. She heard go for and that sounds like some Sam Raimi type stuff to me though. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? The the Illuminati might have something where she she does something that's so out of out of bounds and then they got to intervene and she's just at that point saying no forget it i'm done being the hero you know what i'm just gonna be straight villain and that's when she starts fighting the illuminati and she might end, she's gonna Damn. end up killing them and she might try to achieve what she's been wanting to achieve which Definitely, is trying to get, yeah. manipulate time to um man, or manipulate reality to have her two kids there and to have vision there finally yeah man it's it's crazy shit man there's so many infinite possibilities man in the last Final prediction or prediction slash question. Mm-hmm. Over or under 50% that the zombies play a vital role in this from what if? For what if? Or is it just quick, you know, fun sequence, Sam Raimi playing with some horror for a little bit? Or is this going to play a big part? I feel like it might be a small sequence for sure. Because like when people were Brent mentioning Doctor Strange at the end of him as a zombie, I couldn't really see it too much. I just seen him... I seen it kind of as like him taking in so many within so many mystical arts of the magic and stuff like that. Him trying to contain all that stuff. You know how in What If mm. he was going to he was keep on learning all that consumptions oh. of like different entities of that artifact, a, artifact a live or, action representation of that yeah, within the movie. That's how mm. I seen it. Like he has so much power within him that it's hard for him to sometimes contain. So that's how I approached it. I didn't really see too much of a zombie type of strange coming into it. Ah, that's why I was like, I see. I could see the zombies for sure play a small, like a small sequence as like type of that horror aspect coming into it yeah, for sure. Sam Raimi always does that. Yeah, yeah. You know, Doctor Octopus, Spider Man Two, anybody? <laughs> <laughs> ah! Go, go goes within him, man. Like, like knife. <laughs> I was like, yo, man, it's even dead too in this bitch for like a whole five minutes. <laughs> so good. But, but how do I you will see say, it? I don't think they're going to play a big role. Mm-hmm. That'd be weird. I mean, I'm, I'm up for it if it makes sense. But right. I don't think it's going to be a big role. I think it's under 50%. It's a big role. But I do think it's zombies. Because I do think I saw one other TV spot that had what looked like Zombie Strange looking at his hands and it looked undead. Oh, shoot. Like, it looked like a, how a zombie would look, you know what I mean? With the decaying skin and whatnot. Yeah, of course. But like you said, it could be what you're saying. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't doubt it, because they might not want to go full zombie live action. I don't know. Yep. That might be a, a telling thing with the Marvel Zombies series we're supposed to be getting being animated. Yeah, that's so another So they might thing not want to pull the trigger, but I think there's a way for them to do it and keep it PG-13. Mm-hmm. Because Walking Dead does that every week for the last... 12, 13 years, right? Yeah, over a decade already, Yeah, bro. like 09, 08, right? Yeah, when yeah. I think it was be... Somewhere around that for sure. Maybe not exactly, but I close. think, yeah, I would say for sure we're on 09, 08 for yeah. sure. So it's like if they can do it and it's not R-rated as far as I know, mm-hmm. you know, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, y'all, let me know. But as far as I know, it's not. So I think they can totally pull Marvel Zombies off but just don't get as graphic like they did with What If. Yeah, I think that's it's like could, bummer for my horror heart. But, you know, I understand it's a business. I get it. It's a business aspect, especially if it's coming from Disney yeah, itself. But, but I, I think it's zombies for show. Sure. I think it's just a small fun cameo. Yeah, a small tease. Or another element of the third act uh, battle, if you will. Mm-hmm. I think it's gonna be something like that. 
I think, yeah, for sure. Like, I think that's why a lot this film itself is going to bring in so much, so much concepts of what we can theorize so much about or we haven't even thought about and just put it inside this film. And we then, could be completely right, sort of right, or completely wrong. Yeah. And it's probably still going to be a blast. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah, for at sure. At least entertaining. I don't, I don't see this being a dud in the MCU, for sure. I'll Great? Be, I don't know. I'll be but very surprised. It's got to be fun. I, I, I don't see that, you know? Definitely. Definitely. With what they're showing so far, it's definitely going to be a fun film to see. It's definitely, gonna, man. And it's going to be even more crazy with like how that horror aspect is going to be coming in because this is the first horror film that no. they're going to be introducing. Like I said, I'm a little worried about it because Scott Derrickson from Sinister Fame and the first Doctor Strange left. Mm-hmm. But I think maybe he just wanted to go two balls to the wall for what they want to do. Uh-huh. I think Sam Raimi's a little more of a studio guy where he's willing to play with, um, play ball with them a bit more on it. Yeah, it makes sense. You makes know what sense. I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, I don't think they're going to neuter it, but I just don't see them going too full throttle with it. But I think with Sam Raimi's background, he's going to bring the horror in a creepy f- way, mm-hmm. just not gory. Not, not like as terrifying, much. but I think he's gonna because that doctor that doctor octopus scene at a certain age that's kind of creepy. Uh, of it's kind of scary. Of you know? yeah. So I think he'll play it to that level. I think he'll push it as much as he can. Mm-hmm. I just think Derrickson was wanting to go too far. Yeah, in my opinion, because if you look at his filmography, it's almost all R rated horror movies. Yeah, definitely. I think that's why it would have been cool to see that type of oh, aspect yeah. for sure. But, it's not on the big screen. Disney yeah. Plus might open an avenue if Moon Knight really has some balls and really goes there. I'm hoping. Like, they're hyping up. I'm hoping they do. But if Moon Knight really goes there, I think TV might be where they where they stretch their muscles in that department more. Yeah, I would. if that's the case, I'm really hoping that they Me do too. bring it over to the TV series such, as well. It's such an easy way for parents to like censor it. You could even split off into a kid's section the way Netflix did, bro. Mm-hmm. It would really be that simple. Put a parental code or lock on it. Just easily like that, easily, and then man. no, no issues there. Yeah, and you're not fucking with box office. Uh uh-uh. uh, it I, doesn't fuck with anything. I think they that, also shouldn't be scared of it because of Deadpool. Hello, but well, you know, yeah. different companies, different things. Mm-hmm. But yeah, man. I mean, what are you guys' predictions, man? Is there anything we missed in the trailer? Like, yo, bro, are you not paying attention? Did you not see that? <laughs> Let us know. Drop all your predictions in the comments. Are you hyped for it? Do you think this is too overhyped? What did you think about Doctor Strange 1? Because I don't like it a lot. I barely enjoy it, to be honest with you. I just always like Doctor Strange, the character, and the uh, mystical world and the, and the um, world building of which that brought through. But I really wasn't a big fan of that original film. Mm. So I would love to hear you guys' opinions and see if you dug it. Are you a big fan of it or no? I I liked it a lot. I, did, I didn't mind it too much. I didn't. I there were some pros and cons to it, for sure. Top 15 or no? If I had to rank it... Like, you don't have to put the exact number on it, but would you say probably top 15 or no? For me, it's more towards 16, 22. I would say from everything so far, I would say top 15 for now. I I would have to reassess er, like all the, all so the stuff coming now, in now. Yeah. You got to revisit some and like see the context of everything now, but I feel you, dude. But let us know what you think about this trailer. There's so much to get into, man. We mm. had to get a full-on breakdown so we can get to all the nitty-gritty details without spoiling our boy Miguel. Shout-outs to you, man. <laughs> but let us know, and a big spoiler alert once again. If you don't want any spoilers, I hope you didn't stay this whole time watching this and have to comment about it. Just <laughs> skip the video if you don't want the spoilers, guys. Yep, but yep. for all you people that stayed until the end and all you people that have been such avid listeners and watchers of the show and the podcast. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And this is exclusive on video, baby. Exclusive on YouTube. So make sure you get on over to the podcast and get your long-form podcast right there. The Fandom Frequency Show. We're a half dozen episodes in. We're going to be doing these every month, two to four a month. That's for show. And we're exploring so many new future possibilities with the show. So Mm -hmm. we're only getting started, man. It's 2022, and we got so much more to do. Oh, well, yeah, man. But yeah, man. You got any other final words for the peeps? I would say, if anything, no. I'm pretty sure everybody else is going to be excited for this film. I'm Hell hoping yeah. that all of our expectations are going to be met from off of this trailer. I just want um, a good, fun time that makes sense in the overall canon. As long oh, as it makes sense great. and I'm having a good time, all good, man. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But other than the trailer, I mean, all I can really say is be safe out there and yeah, man. be up and healthy. And until next time, I mean, 
well, I'll talk. We'll pretty much talk to you then, right? I mean, yeah, we're gonna see you guys again really, really soon, man. <laughs> Batman, right around the motherfucking corner, guys. Within a week or a little more, by the time you see this video, the Batman's gonna drop. We're gonna have a full-on spoiler discussion. ASAP, mm -hmm. talking every nitty gritty detail about Matt Reeves, the Batman. And we also are going to have this another segment of Miguel Ain't Seen That. He's going to finally feast his eyes upon the original Michael Keaton 89 Batman film. So that's going to be a lot of fun to discuss. That's going to be You know what I'm saying? For it's sure. Be a lot of fun. I got to revisit that too, just for the show, man, just to see. Oh, I haven't yeah. watched the Keaton in a while. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. if you want to get nuts, let's get nuts. Stay tuned and don't sleep, y'all. <laughs> Peace.